all y'all have been asking, what phone case do I use on a daily basis? I'm gonna take that question and one up it and show you everything I carry in my pockets. Also known as EDC or Everyday Carry. And today, the What's In My Pocket Edition, episode uno. So let's check it out. Okay, that was dumb. Of course, starting with the most important package of my pants, well, to the right of it, my daily driver, the iPhone X, and one of the daily cases I use, the Patchworks Level ITG case. It's affordable, feels good in the hand, and although it does come to personal taste, I do like the clean and simple finish. For the cost, the case is quite protective. It takes a beating well and has a generous lip around the whole screen. Buttons are responsive and clicky, and to top it all off, the sides are textured to offer that extra finger grasping goodness. It really is a great bang for your buck case if you're not looking for anything fancy, don't mind the logo around back, and just need to stay protected. With the colder weather, we've got some extra storage pockets in the jacket. Starting with a very personal item, my mini notebook housed in a Bellroy notebook cover. It's flexible and thin, and most importantly, keeps my notebook with my trillion dollar ideas from getting bent and torn. Made of a soft vegetable tan leather, which it should be given the price point, inside the cover houses the smaller 2.5 by 4-ish inches notebooks, great for scribbles, to-do lists, and just jotting down visual brainstorms I'm not able to do on my iPhone. The other side can actually fit a passport so this makes a great travel companion as well arguably the most important piece here my pen of choice the pilot gtech c4 0.4 millimeters it writes smooth dries fast and the thin tip makes drawing in detail a breeze and it sits comfortably on the spine and the whole package stays relatively thin and most importantly protected now in that same jacket pocket my wireless earbuds i use the jabra sport elites I mentioned them before, but to reiterate, the buttons are terrible to use, they're hard to click, and they hurt my ear when I try to, but the ear tips fit very well and they don't stick out like a sore thumb. The best part is, because my right ear hole is larger than my left, these guys stay in no matter what sort of head workout I'm doing, and when it comes to workouts for me, it comes to sweating. These are completely IP68 certified waterproof, so you can basically swim with these on. For me, I walk straight into the shower with these still in after a heavy GTL session. They do cost a pretty penny, but honestly, my favorite earbuds I've ever owned, and 10 out of 10 would buy again. In the opposite jacket pocket, I carry a phone tripod. Yeah, because you never know when you come by an epic sunset. Or you know how that song goes with the need to take a selfie first or something. This combo also doubles as a great stand in general for watching your hands-free videos and it can be adjusted to avoid those prying eyes. This Joby combo is super light and folds up to the size of like two cigarettes but can take more of a beating than you can. In that same jacket pocket is a new addition, the KeySmart Pro holds my, well, like two keys. KeySmarts basically allow you to mount your keys on the two ends and store them all neatly in one place. It basically allows you to swivel anything you need in and out, and theoretically should keep everything organized and quickly accessible. Now I'm not a huge fan of the plastic build compared to their other metal builds, but that's all due to the electronics they've included in this model, starting with the flashlight which I've surprisingly found very useful because keyholes are the best at hide and seek. And of course the tile integration which if you don't know basically helps locate your phone by double clicking, and vice versa for your phone to keys. So basically having one of these on you should be in you never lose the other. An issue with other tile products were that they couldn't be recharged, so having that ability here is honestly a game changer, assuming the battery does hold up, and you remember to actually charge your keys. And it can accommodate at least four keys, although it's a bit to set up. I also copped their MagConnect keychain, which lets me quickly detach off my belt, but also holds fairly strong to not randomly fall off. Moving to the more private items, my wallet of choice lately is the Belroy Micro Sleeve, because just like my keys, I don't actually carry a lot of cards with me, and this beauty is so tiny. It's like carrying a piece of folded paper in my pocket. In the looks department, it doesn't do so bad either. A clean cut soft leather wallet, it's got Bellroy staple no frills design which I totally dig. It has quick access pockets on both sides of the sleeve that can fit two cards each but even with one they stay put no matter how hard you make it rain. The inside of the sleeve is intuitively accessible by squeezing it, making it very convenient to grab cash or extra cards. But in the end, it's how thin, light, and just overall how tiny it is. If you like to carry light and smart, the quick access of each of these pockets is well worth the money. But if you really want to, it could carry more, it just won't be as sleek. Now Canadian winters means covering up as much as possible and although quite pricey, the Mujo leather touchscreen gloves haven't disappointed me. Magnetic enclosures, Ethiopian lambskin design, and fully insulated with cashmere you're paying premium, but you're also getting premium. The touchscreen part of it is based on what they call nanotechnology, which allows the whole palm of your hand to be inductive. And compared to other touchscreen gloves, I found these to be the most precise I've ever used, albeit not perfect on every click, but in Canadian winters, 90% is better than losing a finger just to send an emoji. Now some miscellaneous things in the back pocket, I always have a sweat towel. Just a random small towel you can find at Dollarama because... I do sweat a lot. 
which brings me to my next five panel cap always have a cap on whether it's this one or the black one I have check these out in the store link store link store below and I have to have a pack of gum with my brand of choice being five gum whether it be bad breath or just my way to reduce anxiety lastly if I'm wearing pants with a belt I'll have this chrome industries pouch on they make basically indestructible bags and this pouch is no exception a combination of tarp and nylon it simply has a front slimmer pocket and a larger main compartment I store my multi-tool in the front and my external battery of choice in the back and because my tool is just sharp in all corners this pouch makes carrying it a lot safer for my my hands and jeans but looking at the actual tool the leatherman wave is generally my tool of choice 90 percent of the time if you know it then you know how useful it is but my most used tools are the pliers scissors for those random loose threads the straight edge to scrape shit off other shit, the sharp ass knife and the serrated knife for all the boxes of cases i receive This one really makes me feel like a true lumberjack. Then there's the battery of choice, my Mofi Power Station Mini 4000 milliamp battery, which honestly isn't that large, but that also means the battery itself physically isn't either. The main reason I prefer this is this, a built-in lightning cable, which means that's one less thing for me to carry, and also one less thing I have to deal with dangling around because it sits flush behind my case, without being difficult to manage one-handed either. I've had this for probably two years now, and it's taken a beating and has withstood the test of time. To summarize, a tough but affordable case from Patchworks, a paper slim and intuitive wallet from Bellroy, waterproof wireless earbuds from Jabra, the lightest and most flexible iPhone tripod from Joby, never lose your keys or phone again with the KeySmart Pro, no task is too much of a task for the Leatherman Wave, your girl or boyfriend will love how soft your hands are in these Mujo gloves, an actual portable all-in-one battery for your iPhone from Mofi, the Bellroy notebook cover to, well, cover your notebook up, my Chrome Industries pouch because sometimes pockets aren't enough, gum because coffee, and accessories me merch duh links to pick up your own down below <clears throat> that's it all the links down below for any of the products i showed today whether it be my key smart tile the case or the notebook cover if you're really interested in that uh the sweat towel maybe not the gum maybe not but you can check out my hat in my store link below five panel outside of the regular keys wallet and phone that you always carry with you the one thing i have to have on me is a pack of gum because i have terrible anxiety and chewing a piece of gum really helps with that anyways let me know what your must-have item is on you in your comments below a big shout out to Patchworks for sponsoring the video. It's a new style and series and their support allows me to explore this new type of content for you guys. And they also just make accessories I like using. So if you like the case, discount code in the description below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. I rest my everyday carry.